my gang was here and today I have a tag video for you. I have been tagged by several people for the TMI tag and somebody on Twitter also mentioned it the other day and I thought it would be kind of fun. I browsed over the questions. I pulled the questions up and I looked really quickly and I thought this could be fun but I didn't want to spend too much time on it because I didn't want to have answers already in my head. I kind of wanted it to be off the cuff and really organic in nature. So uh, yeah, so therefore I have an assistant. Honey, say hi. Hello. <laughs> my husband's going to read me the questions and he may or may not be interactive in this. But um, I may put this on both of my channels and the reason why is because the tag is going around on the makeup channels so that's why it would be on the makeup channel. But my other channel which is 30 plus or more, I'll put the link below if you're interested, uh, that's more of a hey get to know me better and I put probably stuff on there that I shouldn't put on there, but I do. Uh, so that if you see it on both channels, you'll know why. But the other reason why is because not everybody who subscribed to this channel is subscribed to that channel and so on and so forth. So yeah, without further ado. All right, question number go. one. What are you wearing? I am wearing a peach long sleeve hoodie kind of pajama type shirt from Target that I got on clearance. And I look at, this is probably why it was on clearance because it has this little I don't know, abnormal, abnormality there, but uh, because it's comfortable and I like to film in pajamas like most other people do. Next question. Have you ever been in love? Yes, I have been in love. <laughs> Part of me wants to go, okay, answer the question. Yes, I've been in love. Yes, I've been in love more than I probably should have been, and that's no knock on my husband. Have I ever been in love as much as I am in love now? No. Uh, I think that I've been in love in different stages of my life when I thought I knew what being in love was at, at those times and moments. But I, I, I've i never been in love like I am now with my husband. And I'm not just saying that because he's here. I, I really have. And it's the most different, mature relationship I've ever had in my entire life. So, yeah. But yes, I have. Woo! <laughs> Clearly, he's excited about it. Hmm. Have you ever had a terrible breakup? Honey, how much are we divulging on this channel? I wouldn't go that far. You wouldn't go that far. I have had a really, really bad breakup. Bad enough that it made CNN. And I'm going to leave it at that. Moving on. How tall are you? I'm five foot six. Five, five and a half, maybe. It, it depends. I was five, six for a long time, and then I started running a lot, and then it was like, oh, you're five, five and a half. But then I got measured somewhere else, and they're like, oh, you're five, six again. So that's what I stick with. I'm five, six. Hmm. Five is how much do you weigh? And baby, based on our last video, be proud. I am proud. Uh, I weigh 218 pounds, and it's a lot, and I'm okay with it. Uh, I, I'm working on losing it, and uh, I weighed a lot more before, so I'm, I'm okay with it. I weighed 218, and I'm happy about it. And who's proud of it? You tell me. Who's proud of it, honey? I am, baby. <laughs> My husband, I love him. I love him! Do you have any tattoos? No. I do not have any tattoos. Kind of wish you did. <laughs> you know, and you're a liar. And here's the reason why. It's because we talked about that for so long and a long time ago and he's like oh no I'm glad you don't have tattoos and I've I'm not I've always been that person if you have tattoos great that is good for you I'm all about whatever works for somebody else but for me I sit there I'm 37 and I look back and I go I don't like the things now that I liked when I was 30 or 25 or 20 so if I get a tattoo and it's permanent I, I just I don't want to regret it I think that's the reason I think I don't, the name on your back would be well, what if I regret you? And I'm just I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a joke. Uh, but that's not going to happen either. Let's move on. Any piercings? I do. I have my ears are, which I rarely wear earrings, but they're double pierced, both ears. And I did have my belly button pierced, which I got pierced. Why did I get it pierced? Because I loved it. Because he wanted it and I loved it. And I have no problem with that. But then I got pregnant and it was, I cleaned it and it was not infected, but it was just uncomfortable so then it was and, lazy, I, it was and I didn't get the little rubbery thing that you're supposed to get when you're pregnant. And I just ended up taking it out and letting it close. What is your favorite show? Oh crap. What's my favorite show right now? 
I think you like that resurrection. No, I don't like it as much. Okay, um, it's between... No, Scandal. I, I, I can say without... You, you made a face because you don't watch with me. Scandal. I love Scandal. I think that... The, what, Carrie Washington, who plays Olivia, I think she is bananas, crazy talented, and I, I, I love it. I love Scandal right now. It's my favorite show right now. Okay, number 10 is your favorite band. Not your favorite singer, but your band. favorite band. Band. You say band, and I think like big band. Um, it, the first thing that came to mind, I'm going to go with is Aerosmith. Aerosmith is my favorite band. They have a bazillion... Uh, hits they haven't had in a while and i know that you youngins that may not know who aerosmith is really you should know who aerosmith is if you have parents you know who they are uh but also though i will say guns and roses i heard sweet child of mine the other day on the radio and i of course libby and them were in the car and they're like what i was like no it's good this is what music is this is rock and roll and it was uh, it was embarrassing probably much like this video Whatever. Next. What is something you miss? Huh? That's something I miss. Something you miss. See, and sometimes I hate these. This is why, you know, this is when you know I genuinely didn't look over these questions because I'm like, what do you mean miss? Miss in relation to what? That's all the questions. Um, I miss. I miss my mom. I, I miss my mom. And. I say that because she's not she's not passed away or anything, but she lives in New York, and I haven't seen her in a long time. August will be a year, and I, I miss my mom. I do. Yeah. It's very cool. I do. Um, what is your favorite song? <sighs> Ever? Or right now? All it says is favorite song. So favorite song right this moment is John Legend, All of Me. I just, I think it's beautiful, I, but my favorite song changes all the time, and if I had to pick an all-time favorite song, which I don't, obviously, I don't even know why I'm expanding, but if I had to pick an all-time favorite one, I can't, because I just, I love music so much. It is such a big part of my life, I cannot even tell you. Okay. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 37! I say it in all my videos, I'm 37, and come September 2nd, I'm 38. Oh, and I'm cool with it. What is your zodiac sign? Virgo. I'm a Virgo. Okay. What is your favorite color? Pink. Pink, pink, pinkity pink. I, I think of um, the movie Cocktail, you know, pink, pink, blinkity, whatever. Pink. Pink. What is your favorite, um, what is your favorite, I'm sorry, I read the wrong You're one. fine. Loud music or soft music? Oh, loud. Loud, crazy, stupid loud, and mom, you were wrong. Because when I was little and my mom was my age and even younger, she's like, just wait till you get my age. You won't like the music loud either. You're wrong. I think I like it louder than my kids do, which I'm not proud of, but loud, loud, loud. Yes. Where do you go when you're sad? I'm here. If I'm sad, I'm here. I, I don't go anywhere. I... I make sure I'm around my husband. I'm around my husband if I'm sad because he makes me happy. And I know it's corny and cheesy, but he does. You make me happy. I love you. You make me happy. Very sweet. I mean it. How long does it take you to take a shower? I know that's a bad question because I know you. Yes, I don't take showers. I take baths. And I know to some of you and a lot of you that may gross you out, but there's reasons for that, which I'll, I already went in, in another video. I startle very easily. I take baths. So it just depends. Sometimes, uh, two minutes. If I need to just kind of get in and get out and wash the essentials. Ew, that's gross, I know. And sometimes an hour. It, it just depends on how much time I have. Generally, uh, it takes, I don't know, not so very long. I like when you take bubble baths. It takes you a little bit. It does, and I love that because, like, and he's very sweet because he'll make me a bubble bath with candles. He'll be like, honey, go relax. And I'm like, oh, oh. Those are usually a good 30 minutes. Yes, good 30. So if I'm having like a great bath day where I have time, 30 minutes for sure. If not so much, then I can get in and get out in 20 minutes and <laughs> do what I need to do. Ew. Uh. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Uh, kind of a weird question. What are you laughing at? Well, because if you have to get ready, I'm saying it's a good hour and a half to two hours. 
And I don't mean that mean. Part of me wants to edit that out right now. No, I'm, but I'm not going well, to. I'm not going to edit it out. It does not take me two, an hour and a half, two and a half hours. Oh my gosh, I wish you could see his face. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm a stay-at-home mom and have the time. A lot of times, as much as I love makeup, I won't even wear makeup. I'll put my hair up in a little nasty, ugly bun with my big forehead showing. Well, we're talking and about if you really want to go somewhere. If I really want to go somewhere, then... It's about two hours. No, it's not! You're talking about no, from, like, bath I'm, time. I'm, but you know, the sad thing about it is I don't mind. If he's talking about from the time I get in the bath and then take a bath and dry my hair and put makeup on and everything and it's I slow walk hours. it... Hour and a half, maybe. If I slow walk it because I know that we're having a big night and I just am taking my time because I know he's got the baby. It's worth it, America. Oh, God, you're so dumb. No, I'm not. I'm being serious. A typical morning. I think they want to know a typical morning. I think they want to know a typical morning. Typical morning, nothing. Because a lot of times I don't wear any makeup. But if I, I can do fast makeup in uh, three to ten minutes. It just depends on how much I put on. Okay. <laughs> that was vague. I just Have you said. ever been in a physical fight? <laughs> Just have I ever been in a physical fight? Just answer yes. I've been in a plethora of physical fights, and I've never put this... I'm going to put it out there. I've never put it out in this channel. I think I put it out in the other channel. Okay. Never. Okay. I've never... I, I was a police officer for 11 years. Uh, I actually retired as a police sergeant in a major metropolitan area. I've been in so many fights. It's not even funny. By the way, I won them all. Mm. Go on. <laughs> what are your turn-ons? <sighs> that... Uh, that's the question. I'm being serious. What are my turn-ons? Uh, that's a turn-on. Okay. I'm, well, you know, I think they know it's a makeup channel. Uh, humor, comedy, sarcasm. I, my husband and I, the way we banter back and forth, which I think a lot of people would see it as arguing and bickering, but we genuinely, it's ribbing for us. It's its banter. It's fun. Um, we will sit there and debate anything put fox news and i will debate the malaysian airline 370 and the ping 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 that they're looking for three miles down on the ocean uh, humor is a huge turn on for me and and non-arrogance <laughs> put another word on that for me some not not humble but not being full of yourself okay not being full of yourself somebody who there's nothing sexier than somebody who's awesome but it, whether or not they know it, but they don't go around going, mm -hmm, I'm awesome. I can't stand that crap. I can't stand it. I think and, you just answered the turn off question. That's the next question. The turn, okay, the turn off question is that you're funny and cute and handsome and then you walk around like you know it. That's so disgusting to me. It's not even funny. But I so said, look at that. Two answers in one. But yeah. All right. The reason you joined YouTube. Oh, easy, easy, easy peasy. Uh, I went around looking for makeup videos and smoky eye, and I ran into a lot of people and who are more talented than I will ever be in my entire life, but who were super duper young. And I was also in a makeup rut. And I thought, you know what? It, it was going to force me to get out of my makeup rut to stop using one color eyeshadow, one blush. I, I was really using the same eyeshadow, blush, mascara, everything for a couple of years. And I really wanted to switch it up. But I also wanted to make videos because I, I wanted to relate to other women more towards my age. But I don't want to say that and alienate the younger viewers I have. I have viewers that are as young as 11 that have emailed me and stuff. And I love you guys. I do. But the reason why I started making videos is because I just didn't feel like there were enough of us ladies that were older and uh, more mature. Well, some of us aren't even more mature. Our skin is, though. Mm -hmm. But uh, just something for the older ladies out there. But I do love all of you younger, you younger kids. Not even kids. You younger folks. See? I'm all nervous. Next. What are your fears? <sighs> <laughs> fears see some of these questions are so broad and vague it's it's frustrating my fear is something happening to my my husband I'm looking at you and, and I talk to you about that sometimes my husband's a police officer right now and he has been for years and actually we just had he just had a guy who works with him just he got in a really bad wreck a couple days ago because they were chasing a shooting suspect and my husband was at home with me because it was his night off, and I've been there, done that. But I did it with a seatbelt, and my husband doesn't wear a seatbelt. And long story short, so this kid who's 25, 
he wrapped his car around a tree and he smashed his hip, his leg, his, what else did he smash? Just about everything. Everything. And uh, my husband comes home and, or not comes home, but he talked to me the next morning after he found out and he's like, I'd probably be dead if that happened to me because I don't wear a seatbelt. And I'm like, that's so nice. Thanks. But he's honest and that's okay. And, and he's going to work on wearing a seatbelt more often, aren't you, at work? But I get why he doesn't. I've been there. Like I said, been there, done that. I get it. But my fear is losing my husband or my children being terminally ill. Uh, it, that's it. I can handle pretty much anything else.